Hey Rock Church family, Pastor Antonio here. I'm here with Pastor Jessica. Hello. And I know that we just wanted to sit down and because it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, I know that we, uh, Pastor Jessica especially, has had a lot of things on her heart in terms of wanting to encourage you and also encourage ourselves, right? Yeah. We know that you guys need encouragement because we need our encouragement. Discouragement is no respecter of no. persons. No. Uh, and so Pastor Jess, if you would share a little bit about uh, how you've kind of gotten yourself out some of some of this and I know yeah. that it'll be beneficial for sure you know um, the devil doesn't fight fair right. and he's seeking whom he may devour and so um, sometimes people are weary of the battle and weary of, of just your everyday you know mm -hmm. I, I'm the same as anyone else I wake up every morning and go oh I'm waking up to the coronavirus world that we're living right. in and um, but there's just something in my spirit man that keeps me and I, I press into the Lord in the very early morning because if I don't, I notice that when I don't have that moment with God first, I can get very negative. My thoughts can go very sideways. Um, I'm in my flesh most of the day and I'm not walking it out in the spirit. And so I am not called to live my own life here on this earth. And I think that this season and in this time, I've really had a revelation of what this earth is. And, you know, I've always heard it preached. I, I was a young girl, grew up in a church with radical parents. If you know my parents, they're like, you know, we were sick and they were like, get in faith, you're, <laughs> don't you, do, we're not going to the doctors, yeah. we're gonna get in faith. And we got healed every time. And, and we didn't have insurance and so we had to get in faith. <laughs> and I grew up with these radical Christians, but I had to find God for myself. And I had to um, find out what he was really talking about. When he says that you're of this world, you're in this world, but you're not of this world, what does that mean, right? Yeah. And when the scripture says, I was, I was reading this scripture, um, and it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and my sisters, whenever you face various and many kinds of trials. Yeah. What, you're wanting me to find joy yeah. in this chaos and frustration? I mean, for Dan and I, it's been a very hard season. You know, we were just at the peak of like, coming into our, we were in transition period, and so we were finally feeling like, okay, we yeah. understand our jobs, and, and we understand our call, and we understand our position, and, and we were just stepping into that, and the church was growing, and the Spirit of God was yeah. moving here, and, and I was just so incredibly blessed by what God was doing, and then all of a sudden it was like, yeah. and everything stopped. And, and I know it wasn't just our lives, it was your life, your life just stopped, life just stopped. And it all stopped so suddenly and so fast. And I think it was almost like a, a understanding of like, whoa, this world is a mess. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I'm noticing all the things being exposed. Yeah. You know, I, I was kind of blind to how nasty the world was. I was kind of blind to how um, people and man's heart was so dark. And these things are being exposed. Yeah. And so I do think God is working in this. Absolutely. I do think that there were um, systems that were oppressing people there were things that were wrong and we've heard that with the black lives matter right. movement we've right. heard that um, in our school systems our yeah. school systems very unhealthy and right. so i'm wondering what god is doing in that right now um and i believe he's turning things right. around for his good yeah. i believe he's going to get his voice back into these things mm -hmm. yeah. where he has been pushed out of these things and so when i want to find joy in these trials when i want to find joy when i wake up in the morning i'm frustrated yeah. um i was really seeking god the other day and i was i was bummed you you know, we lost our father, um, not my dad, but my father in love and um, Dan's dad on April 14th. So right, right when the pandemic first started, it was traumatizing and we're still, you know, grieving every day in those moments. But I find God in every one of those moments mm -hmm. that in the moments of the tears or when I'm comforting my kids or when I just have a bad day and I'm like, I wish I could just talk to dad right now because dad would talk to me through this, you know, and you have these moments and you might be mourning someone, right. you might be mourning a marriage you might be mourning your job you might be in a place of just brokenness and and um loss of something but know that you're not alone in that and so the lord spoke to me he said i want you to have joy right now and i said what does that mean i don't know where to find my joy god i don't understand what that is and he said i want you to find your joy in me and so i began to study these verses out and i i came across this beautiful commentary from like the 1800s and it was a minister and he was talking about how joy is actually the definition of the atmosphere of heaven it's awesome 
And so when I can pull on the joy of the Lord, that means I'm pulling from the atmosphere of heaven and I'm bringing that into my earthly realm. And even though my earth around me is fading, I can pull on the pieces of heaven that live within me. And his name is Jesus. And so know that even in your tears and even in the broken places and even in the hardest times right now, hold on church. Pull from heaven, pull from that atmosphere of yeah. joy because God loves you and he says to count it all joy through various trials. Yeah. You can do that not through you and not through people. People will never give you joy. Circumstances, places, vacations, I think we've all been stripped of all those things. Those don't bring us joy. Yeah. But you know what does bring us joy? The only thing that will is Jesus Christ. And I think he's eliminating everything in our lives yeah. so that we have to look at him so that we cannot fill our lives with other things that become idols where he is just the one true God in our lives. And so today, rest in the joy and the atmosphere of heaven and know that God loves you, that he's on your team, that you're not alone. Get yourself into church, get yourself back into church if you can. If you're healthy, come on, come on back. We're social distancing, we're doing things. You yeah. need people, we need each other. And get into your Bible, read the word of God for yourselves. Pray, I just told my staff this the other day, Pray over yourself. It's easy to pray for other people. That's very easy to do. But sometimes weird to pray for yourself, but pray for your mind. Pray, guard your mind, guard your heart, guard your spirit, man, because you are important to God and God wants you to be healthy. Get into a good church if you're not in this area. Tithe, listen, God has an economic recovery plan. If you just do it his way, he'll take care of your finances. And that's 10%, 90% God will bless. Do what God asks us to do as Christians and God will pour out a blessing on you and you will be able to make it through these hard times and you will come out without a singe, without fire. Yep. I think of Daniel in yep. the lion's den. Yep. I think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I mean, yep. these people faced trials, but they knew who their yep. God was. Guys, we know who our God is he, and he's alive and he's well. Yeah, so good. You, you, you started off by just talking about how you face discouragement and mm -hmm. went into some of these big things in your life that mm -hmm. discourage you. Mm -hmm. But just like all of us, you don't have we don't have to match all of our discouragement. Like, oh, I didn't have that happen. I didn't have. But the point was, I was discouraged. I went to God. I spent time with God, and then I got the revelation that got, that got me through. Now, your revelation, revelation, uh, God has given you a platform to be able to share yours in a different yes, way. Yeah. But other people's revelation, they can share in their spheres of influence because Absolutely. we're all facing this. So Call they, a friend. there might be that one person in yep. their family, mm -hmm. um, or even in 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 my discouragements, like with with uh, with my son, like. Yeah. All right, talking to you about it hasn't encouraged me. Talking to other people have encouraged Like, so there's mm -hmm. that, there's that we build each family, other up. and there's like, man, you you were discouraged yesterday, man, um, and, and and you got a revelation and for helping me for my discouragement today. You know, in my, dis my discouragement today, I'm going to spend time with Jesus, and I'm yeah. going to be able to help someone tomorrow. Well, we were just talking about this in women's ministry. Right. Like, um, in this epidemic, people have been pulled away from each other. Right. So they've been isolated. And we all know as ministers yeah. that isolation is the plan of the enemy. If he can get you isolated, he can steal you. Right. He can steal your joy. He can steal everything from you. He gets into your head. He messes with you. And you turn into never the person God intended for us to be. Yeah. But we turn into these people that are... Um, not moving for the kingdom of God, not putting our hand to something, not putting our hand to the plow, not using our gifts and our talents mm -hmm. that God put inside of us right. for the kingdom. And I mean, there is a righteous anger that's rising up on the yeah. inside of me because the more that I turn on the news or the more that I hear the things that are being said, I'm like, uh, you know, I was reading, I think it was in Matthew, I'm reading through the Bible and in Matthew he says, for some of you, you will have ears to hear and eyes to see. Mm -hmm. And I want to be that Christian Yeah. that when I'm watching the news or I'm in a conversation with somebody, I can discern what right. it is that's going on. Right. And I'm telling you right now, this is a demonic attack. Right. And this was from the get go right. against the church. Yeah. The church has never been shut down and we yeah. were shut down on Easter. Yeah. I mean, what is that? that yeah. I mean, the church was thriving and the devil was mad yeah. and he had to do something. And this is an agenda yeah. and this is an agenda from Satan mm -hmm. and it, it's operating out of fear and and I believe that faith overcomes fear. Mm -hmm. And But you won't know this unless you've spent time with right, God. Right. It's those moments by yourself. It's that time, that investment right. into yourself right. that will then benefit other people, yeah. right? And so when you're going through a hard time with your, your son, like we're here because yeah. We're ready. We're right. filled up. We're yeah. we're we're gonna give yeah. you an encouraging word. You lean on someone else's right. gas when you're out. 
Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's why we need each other, but I think that's what's missing right now in the mm -hmm. body of Christ is we don't have each other. Yeah. Well, and I think, you know, uh, Pastor Joel in, in Breaking Free often talks about, or he always says, what God will reveal, he will heal. Yeah. And you talked about how there are things being brought to light in our so society, good. but in the same way that it's being brought in our society, it's the same way for us at home. Yeah. Right? Because we're in this place, we're in solitude, mm -hmm. we're learning, oh my gosh, I'm more insecure than right. I thought. Or I'm... Uh, I'm more, yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm more dependent on people than I thought, or I'm, I have these unhealthy boundaries. All these things are yes. kind of being brought to light. Right. But instead of being discouraged by those or feeling defeated by them, we know that God can heal those. Yes. And I love how you talked about the joy uh, as a solution. You know, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. Is our strength. And, and, and his, in our weakness, that's when he, he is, is made strong. strong. Yeah. So I think it's all really coming from him. Mm -hmm. And so when we can focus on getting that time with him see because we can we, we want to focus on our stuff right, right? and like where yeah. we're at and how we feel and how we're affected by mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. but really when we can transition it back on him yeah he'll take care of us right so it's, it's kind of just you like almost a, can't worry it, anymore it, it, you're it's, like Meh. looking out for him will really help us with our thing but like you talked about when we're watching this with eyes in the spirit not mm -hmm. in our flesh mm -hmm. God will speak to us, not only reveal that it, that it's yeah. darkness about it, but right. how we might be a solution. Absolutely. A spirit-led life. Yeah. And I don't want to just live on this earth right. um, to just live on this earth. Right. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want to... I have a deeper understanding of death now after losing my right. dad. Right. Like, um, and understanding that this is a passing through. Right. This, this is not... I'm home. Yes. And I, I and I don't know about you, but in this pandemic, I feel more and more like that. Yeah. Like, this is not home. Right. Like, I know I have a home, and yeah. I know I love you guys yeah, and, and my church family, and of course we are family, but we all get to be together in heaven. Right. Yes, right. And so this is a passing through for us, mm -hmm. and we are on mission. Yeah. Our children are a arrow in our quiver. Right. We are to train them up in the ways of God yes. so that they then can carry it on to the next generation. I mean, the purpose behind our lives have so much more meaning. Mm -hmm. And I believe that this isolation, if you've done it right, and if you haven't, start now. Yeah. Um, but take time to spend with the Lord mm -hmm. because he will journal it out because he'll begin to show you things about your heart, yeah. maybe your thought processes, maybe things you watch on TV, maybe the people we've idolized mm -hmm. as humans, but yeah. yet we don't even give God that much attention. Right. And yet we're like, oh, this celebrity, this right. da da da, you know, and you're like, God's going, hello, I'm God. I created the heavens and the yeah. earth. I stopped the ocean from coming yeah. onto the sand. Yet you're giving these people, yeah. fallen man, mm -hmm. more attention than you right. give me. Right. And I believe that the Lord is showing us if we will be open to listen yeah. in those moments, those yeah. quiet moments of who we are, mm -hmm. who we need to be, yeah. where we need to grow up right. spiritually, what we need to fix about our personalities. Right. Because there's a good side to our personality, there's a bad side to our personality, right? Yes. I'm a loud mouth. I'll say it like <laughs> it is. Now that goes bad for me many right. times and I hurt people's feelings and then I hate it and I yeah. feel horrible about it and that's never my intention. But it just happens. So mm -hmm. when I'm using it in the spirit, when I'm walking out in the spirit, right. I notice that it actually is a blessing into someone's That's life. Good. And believe me, I, I mess that up all the time and right. I have to go back and repent and apologize. Yeah. Um, but the reality is, is nobody's perfect. Right. Nobody gets it right. But the but when we are with the Lord right. and our hearts are submitted and humbled yes. to him, we can live the spirit led life right. and every day is a different day. Well, I, lo I love it because a tool properly used is effective. Yeah. Right. Improperly used can hurt people. Good. Right. So we all have gifts and talents. We all have callings and purposes. And I love yeah. how we've always said here, like we want to get people to be all that God has called them to be and living their purpose and and, yeah. and, and being in their right lane. And see, we can get defeated with our mess ups are but yeah. or or we can see our gifts as the negative right right because we've only used them in the bad yeah. our, our, our passion yeah. is oh I, I, i'm just i'm just angry well no have you put your passion onto a god thing because then you're going to take that righteous indignation right. within you instead of using it yeah. to be an angry person now you use it to mm -hmm. to get people excited and pumped towards moving it's in true. the right direction true. and i think to kind of close the thought pastor just uh, on on where i think this conversation is going is that we've all been called. We all have mm -hmm. this purpose. And even in this, the church can rise up. The Bible Absolutely. says that the gates of hell, hell cannot, cannot prevail cannot against prevail. the church. Yes. And in that same way, Upon they cannot. Upon my rock. Right. And, and, and yep. we are the church. So we in the same the way, they can't prevail against us. Yep. And I would venture to say a unified us, a Absolutely. unified body. Yep. So when we can unify ourselves, get in mm -hmm. 
uh, get in, 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 in line together yeah. and get in family, mm -hmm. then I think we'll really see a yeah. change. And, it, and the thing is, it's not going to be dictated on statistics, what the news is reporting, what we can even see. We're going to see the change in this in the spirit first, and then it'll be lived mm -hmm. out in our lives. Yeah, and then we can encourage each other. You know, because when one is weak, one is strong. Mm -hmm. And I love that because there's been many days I've woken up very weak. Right. And just crabby and yeah. negative yeah. and right. I don't want to. I don't right. know about you, but I have those days. Yeah. And you're so Absolutely. nice. You probably never have <laughs> no, them. But <laughs> And I'm married to a man that just doesn't let anything bug him. I don't know if you know Dan, but like Dan is just like even kill. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, doesn't anything bug <laughs> you? Like it drives me nuts. Right, right. But I actually really look look to that like as I should be more like right, that. Right. And there's, I'm a passionate person, so I'm like, woo, like yeah. big on like justice. And yeah. like, this is wrong, yeah. you know, and I yeah. have to pull myself back. And my Dan, my Dan, yeah. he anchors me, mm -hmm. but I know that he's being used by God to anchor and to build right. and to help me through these times. Right. And so you may not have a husband with you, but you have maybe a friend or a pastor to encourage you in these moments, yeah. or you have someone that you can call the church and they can pray with you and they can build you up. Yeah. Don't do life alone yeah. because doing it alone, you're going to miss out on a word that God has for you for that day. You're going to miss out on maybe something the spirit is trying to show you and you just can't see it clearly because your flesh is in the way. Let's not do life alone. Yeah. I think that's what the message is here. You know, God has called the church to be the church. We are the church, yeah. but God also established a temple and he asked yeah. David to build the temple. Right. He needed a house right. to rest in. And so the house of God is his sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It is a beautiful thing. And I believe that God wants us to come back together again. Right. Yeah. I believe that God is saying to gather again, lay hands on the sick and they shall mm -hmm. recover. Right. Greet each other with a kiss. Right. I mean, there's things that happen when we um, embrace each other and love each other. And the world is telling us, don't touch, don't. Right. And I just, I just right. to me, I'm like, right. this is so evil. Right. This is so evil because it's not what God how God made things. Yes. This is not how God did this. Yeah. And so we've got to get in faith about our lives. We've right. got to be together. We have to press into who God is right. daily and have those intimate moments with him so we can carry on in our day. So good. So good, guys. We, we, we pray that you were blessed by this again for just joining us for these few moments of us just kind of sharing what God has been yeah. kind of revealing to us in our ups and downs because we know that you have the ups and downs as well. Yep. And we want to We're build and encourage each other. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you guys. Love you.